Hello there guys and welcome to your 17th C++ tutorial. Sorry for taking so long but I've been pretty busy. Anyways, in today's tutorial we'll be talking about the F string. Uh, in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about the if string, basically reading uh, reading from a file. So go right ahead and open um, the main.cpp uh, file we had. If you don't have it, pause the video and you know create a new project and add a new source file. And type the following code once you have done so resume the video and so let's go ahead and get started so we have we first we must include another uh, so we, we have to include the f stream this will allow us to basically use the functions to read and write into a file but today we'll just be talking about reading from a file next we're gonna declare um, a double variable and I'll call it x. Uh, afterwards, uh, well, let's type the code first and then we'll go over it. Uh, so, we'll declare a double variable called x. Uh, next, what we'll do is declare another double called sum and we'll initialize that to zero. Uh, then, what we want to do is basically we're going to type car. So we're going to call it car and we're going to type file name because what we want to do is we want to allow the user to enter the file name which he wants to read from next we'll type a CL statement and we'll take mm, and we'll ask him to enter the file name alright next we'll get the file name so we'll type cin.get line and inside we'll put file name which we declared up there number of characters all right now that we've got the file name uh, first of all we have to go way up here and the, so we're gonna have to type uh, if stream and I'm gonna call it my file this will allow us to use all the methods uh, in the if stream located in the if stream by the way um, uh, so we, what we want to do next is basically type my file and then we want to type open and then we'll open whatever the file name is that the user will enter and then we'll type if this this will check if the file is open or not so let's go ahead and type if and then my file that is open So if the file is open, that's good. We can go ahead and we'll type a while loop. We're gonna type my file x. And inside the while loop, all we're gonna do is for this uh, tutorial, we'll just see out all the numbers located in the file. So we'll see out the x and let's put an line here. And then we'll find the sum also. So the sum will equal plus equals x okay so now that we got uh, we will display all the numbers uh, located in that file and uh, basically find the sum of all the numbers and once we have done that all we want to do is type my file that we want to close the file all right so if if we go ahead and build this uh, well first we have to basically have a file located there so for this tutorial i've actually created a dot txt file called numbers which is right here and it has a couple of numbers in here random numbers i put in there so what this should do this tutorial should open let's go right ahead and go over the code first okay so what this should do since up here we have the if stream my file allows us to use all the methods uh, located in the if stream and uh, in, in the f stream library then we have we declare a double variable x which will hold the numbers located in here and then the sum which will basically uh, find the sum which will add all the numbers together and then display it then we have a car variable called file name which will allow the user to enter the file name which he wants to open and read from and then we ask him to enter the file name here we get the file name and store it in file name then we open that file with the file name uh, specified by the user 
here we check if the file is open and if the file uh, well actually we should type an else statement here as well else see out so this else statement uh, we, we can just say error occurred this is a very simple tutorial and so the else statement here will just check if the file is not open basically if uh, basically if it fails to actually find the file the user entered it will just display this error that error occurred so it did not find the file uh, so once this is successful it is open it will go in the while loop and it was in, in it will get all the numbers basically located in this file which we open up here uh, and store them in X one by one so first it will get 2.36 it will display it then add it to the sum then go to the second one display it added to the sum and then uh, and then we will close the file but uh, and after we close the file let's go ahead out here and see out and display the sum I will type the sum is and then let's display out the sum here and put a M on it alright so now that we finished it we should basically see all the after we compile like after we build it and run it we should see all the numbers located here and uh, their sum alright let's go ahead and close that file let me go ahead and build this now let's see if it was successful building um, let's place it back here um, let's go ahead and build it okay guys um, and uh, in, th in, in future tutorials, okay, let me just remove this for you guys. Um, that was another line of code I had there, which I do not need. Anyways, let me get rid of that. Okay, here we go. Let me build that again. Again, I did not remove that. Alright, let me delete that. Now it should work. Okay, so now that we actually built uh, and this worked, um, uh, in future tutorials we we'll actually, because uh, now that we can read from the file, we can actually use those number to do other calculations, mathematical calculations, such as addition, subtraction, whatever, guys, cosine, sine. Anyways, let's run this and see. Okay, so it's asking us for the file name, and I named it numbers. Don't forget to put the extension. That's a must txt so here we go he read all the numbers and then he found the sum all right guys so thank you for watching if you have any question about the tutorial uh, or you want any other tutorials in particular please let me know and i'll be more than glad to do so uh thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe guys please thank you so much and see you on the next tutorial